Hello, my name is Matthew Hoffman. I'm with Living Vehicle, and I am standing in front of a brand new model for LV. This is the HD. Now, this is the first time I've ever shown this, and actually, I'm at the factory. This is one of the very first units off the line, and this is a behind-the-scenes tour, never before seen. I'm going to show you the outside, the inside, and what makes up all the great features that make this new model so amazing. This is the Living Vehicle HD. Come and take a look with me. So let's get right to it. Here I am standing at the entryway of the new HD model. And the first thing that we'll notice right out of the gate is we have a new entry door. This is a custom manufactured door. This door is the same building methodology that we have for all of the hatch compartments. This is a dual seal, seal door. So this is an improvement from the 2023 model uh, in part because we have a lot of great new features to it. This is a custom manufactured door right here at the manufacturer. This is not an off the shelf product. So you're not gonna find this anywhere else. Some of the features that make this unique, dual seal, just like at all of our hatches. So if you get water inside this air equalization chamber, water just drips down and then comes out the bottom here. You'll notice there's some seals. Of course, all of this is built out of 100% aluminum. Powder coated on the inside, anodized aluminum on the outside. This is a two inch thick door. So there's lots of different angles here, which you know, it's architecturally designed details to make sure that it's really great to keep out water. And this is a heavy door. So for all of you concerned about security, this door is not bulletproof, but darn close to it. Now, as with all of our other hatches, we have a latch that is an automotive grade latch. Uh, this is a post style latch and you see this mechanism right here. This is designed for security in mind so you don't have any kind of lock picks or folks getting into the unit. Uh, we do have our standard handle here that is a standard feature the railing this has been extended so you have the step mechanism which folds up and it resides just inside the door uh, and this door is a squared off channel so you'll see the the door itself there's no longer round corners there that's designed aesthetically to match all the other hatches and then the patio gate deck this is now a four step because the living vehicle HD is raised a little bit. And one of the things that you'll notice right here by the entry door is these wheels. These are fantastic. Now, take a step back. This is a HD model. These are mud terrain Goodyear Wrangler wheels uh, or the tires. Uh, and then the tires uh, have a Kevlar sidewall. This is designed for kind of aggressive use, very strong sidewall built, high rated tire. Look at the sidewall here. Really nice aggressive tread pattern. The underbody protectant, the, the body armor, this is consistent across the entire unit. This is the pro model, and uh, that's the, the night edition. So that's what keeps it nice and pro you know, protected when you're going down you know, dirt roads and you have uh, debris flying up from the, uh, the road as you're traveling down. Uh, this is a high capacity axle. Now we have the big feature, big new release for this year. Look at that, three wheels. So this is a three axle trailer. Uh, of course, a wheel and tire combination package for each side. You'll see right behind there, disc brakes on all six wheels. So tremendous stopping power. We have a lot more load carrying capacity on this. This is actually maxed out at a 20K GVWR. So really high load capacity. And this is a kind of a stout unit. This is built for amazing capacity. So one of the new features as you enter the unit for the HD is this improved latch and lock mechanism. This is a keyless entry, so you have the key code combination. Also, you have a wireless transceiver for this. So this is a improved feature on this beautiful new entry door. As we move back here, we have the outdoor gas fired heater. This is a redundant system for off grid heating use. Just above this brand new feature, this is a vented window in the hallway. We'll see that inside when we get inside, but that vents on the bottom. It's a linear window, so you can see who is at your front door when you are inside the unit. Continuing back here, we see our two pass-through storage compartments. Now, these are features which have been improved. Again, this is our custom manufactured door mechanism, insulated panel, automotive grade latch mechanism falls down onto this bolt mechanism here. You'll see down here, our pass-through storage compartment has grown significantly. It goes all the way to the front, to the back, and there's a lot more equipment in here that I'll point out piece by piece. So just to the left here, if you look all the way there to the left, is the Dirt Devil central back system. A tremendous suction power for that, by the way. The amount of storage, the height, has actually increased here because we have increased the capacity here and how much stuff we're really putting inside the unit. 
Of course, all of these hatch compartments are lit, so every time you open up a hatch, you will see light flood into that hatch space. So all of this is increased in size. You got a lot of space there for storage. Really nice pass-through compartment. This is a new compartment just to the front. This wasn't here previously uh, because we now have a completely flat floor in the bedroom and I'll get to that when we get inside. But because we have this now, we do have more storage and we have some of the systems, the new and improved systems for the HD model. We have our four post leveling system by Equalizer. This is a system where there's 12,000 pounds of load capacity at each plunger. You'll see there's a lot of equipment back there. I'll move this stuff out of the way. That is the hydraulic reservoir right there behind the equalizer panel. You have some breakers and then also a trickle charger for our dedicated battery for our generator and hitch jack. As we take a step back, you will move towards the front of the unit. Of course, this is reminiscent of the 2023 model. Previously, we do now have complete blackout package, chrome delete all around the unit, so it's a really nice demure look to it. Of course, riveted seams, taped interiors. These are all anodized panels, just like the previous LV. Very thick gauge aluminum that's an 063 thickness. Really nice quality. Bullet cameras all the way around, so you have visibility. That's a standard feature brought forward from the previous model. And now as we move forward to the front of the unit, you will notice there are some significant changes to the HD. Now, first and foremost, you'll probably see this guard. This is a new feature. We do have a rock guard, which extends all the way around. The generator compartment has been lowered and it sets in between the A-frame on the tongue. Now, the reason for this is all the heavy equipment, low and centered, so great stability. Also, this allows us to have a completely flat floor inside the bedroom, so we have more storage capacity and we don't have any odd angles anymore. Now, this compartment does have two dedicated batteries in there. Of course, this is in our concept of redundancy and getting out into the wild when you when and if you do have a complete loss of power, that will give you the assurance to make sure that you would have a lot of power whether or not you run into a problem with your primary energy system. So this is a battery which is dedicated for the leveling system. This is a battery which is dedicated for the generator. So if for some reason you lose power, you need to start up, you'll have a dedicated battery. Now, something that you'll notice brand new for this LV, we improved the capacity of our propane system. So standard on every HD model is two 30 pound propane tanks here on the A-frame. Now this will be enclosed in this nice matte black uh, con container. So housing those two propane tanks, of course, these are standard tanks. You can take them off, go and fill them up wherever you are. Um, and we do have another feature. Take one look really quick before we move back. We're going to show you some more stuff here, but on the subject of propane, one of the brand new features for this HDLV is a 98 pound dedicated and fixed propane tank. So this propane tank allows you to have maximum capacity. Of course, this is a fixed tank. It cannot be removed, uh, but you would fill this up from a propane supply company that would come to you, or you could bring this to a fill-up station. Now, propane we wanted to expand because we believe propane is a necessary redundancy. This is a backup. Even though LV is completely energy powered from the sun and it is powered by the energy system, especially on the Pro model, propane allows us to have that redundancy and backup fuel source. So we maximize propane. So on the previous model gen, we had 80 pounds of propane. This goes well above 100 pounds of propane. We have about 160 pounds of propane now available. And if you want to store more propane cylinders in your tow vehicle, you could do that. So awesome redundancy features. We do have this high capacity hitch jack with a 25,000 pound coupler. And all of this is robust. It is designed for the maximum capacity. As we make our way back on the side of the living vehicle HD, the second hatch located just pack, you know, back from the forward is this hat hatch, which allows us the access for not only the pass-through compartment, but you do have a brand new feature as part of the hose and cord reel automation package. Now that's what this guy would be right here. This does run, this is an automotive cord and hose reel system. This is part of one of two, two components, but you see right here, this hose goes right down here through the bottom and this runs out. So it's a great way to store your hose system. And when you do need this, you just pull it out it runs free and clear, and when you're done with this, you push a single button, and it reels your hose all the way back from your campsite or wherever you're staying, uh, from your fill-up station to fill up your water tanks or your city water, 
and it stores it right on that hose reel. So extremely convenient, really nice, gives you a lot of capacity while not taking up any extra storage. The third hatchback from the forward side on the street side of the living vehicle HD is our service bay. So these are all the typical sewer and waste connection points. So first thing you'll notice is that you have a water tank fill. Off to the left, that's where you connect your hose and fill up your water tank, a couple of dump valves, winterized valve, and a water drain line. Now, because the living vehicle is a four season unit, all of this is on the condition side of the unit, meaning the insulation panel is down below. And so all of this is conditioned, meaning it's warm or cool, depending on what the uh, heating, ventilation, air conditioning system is doing inside the unit. Of course, excellent quality. Everything's built out of aluminum, built to last. So when you have a hose connection point for your wastewater, that would come from underneath the unit down. Of course, this can connect to any septic system, sewer system, in addition to onboard waste storage tanks. The Living Vehicle HD is a beast. It is designed to be fully capable, maximum capacity, and tremendously livable. Now, because of all this extra capacity, not only does the energy system have so much capacity, there's so much stuff in here. There's a lot of equipment, and that comes with weight. Of course, we increase this significantly now. You see this is a three-axle unit. So tri-axle, that means six tires total. This is the Wrangler Goodyear tire. This has got a mud terrain profile with a really aggressive sidewall. And the sidewall is actually uh, not only just visually very uh, attractive and also aggressive, it is built from Kevlar. So it's Kevlar reinforced for maximum assurance and protection. Of course, all of this is got the spray-on protectant, uh, which is part of the Pro, Pro Night Edition. Each one of these tires is rated for 7,000 pounds. Now, not just the tire, the axle itself. So tremendous weight capacity on this unit. And we've actually underrated this. So the weakest link is not just any one component, it is our rating. So we are downgrading this uh, so that it is even more robust than what it could be. So uh, tremendous, tremendous capacity. By the way, every one of these tires has an independent disc brake. It's an electric over hydraulic disc brake. So tremendous stopping power on all of these wheels. Now, as I make my way to the back of the street side of the Living Vehicle HD, this is a brand new feature. Now, one of the things that created a lot of desire to elicit change on this model is I wanted to get the air conditioning system completely off the roof. Um, I did that, we accomplished this, and we have tremendously upgraded the capacity and also the SEER rating, that is the efficiency of the AC system. Now, this got off the roof, located in the basement, and this is a mini split system. Now, I will show you how this works here. This is, by the way, just a service access panel. You do not need to remove this in order to use the system. So this panel can be located and it will always be on. This is, by the way, this is your outdoor unit of your mini split system designed by LG. This has a heat capacity all the way down to four degrees Fahrenheit. So that's tremendous. A lot of amazing capacity on this system. So this is designed so it can be pulled out. So this is on bed slides. Right now, this is in its locked state. Now, I'm just showing you this just so you can get a sense of the unit. This is designed to be always in. So you don't need to pull this out to use the unit. This is just for service. So the bed slides that this is on, you pull this out when you need to service it. And it pretty much always just sits inside there. But it draws air up and then it vents it out. This is a smart inverter unit, very high capacity. And it is a dual zone unit, by the way. So this is a two zone multi-system uh, it does allow for uh, air conditioning uh, in different sections of the, of the unit. I'll show you those when we go inside. Uh, by the way, this does run completely off the energy system in all models, whether it's a Core, Max, or Pro. So this is probably the biggest feature, not to mention the solar. So I'll show you that in a sec as we make our way back towards the back of the unit. Another great feature about the Living Vehicle HD is the cord reel system. So this is an automated cord reel system so that you can push a button, reel up this great 25 foot cord reel. It stores in this rear compartment right at chest level so you don't have to bend over and manage that. So when you're done using it, all you gotta do is push a button and then that goes right back onto that very handy cord reel system. All right, so now we made our way to the very back of the HD model. And you'll notice a few new things here. We have the standard tire. This is the upgraded tire, of course. 
We do have a new access storage compartment because we do have that sectioned off compartment, which is watertight. This allows you for access to what was the pass-through storage, so you have access here and again on the other side. Of course, with all HD models and from here on out, we do have the Chrome Delete package. So the rear Oculus is now a matte finish with the anodized aluminum. And while we're at it, just so you can understand the pure power and capacity of the HD, one of the biggest features of the new HD is you'll notice up there, we have a solar awning. Not only do we have a solar awning on the patio side, for the first time ever announcing for the HD is a dual solar awning. That is right, an awning on one side and the other looks like an angel, flies up. So this has solar panels completely on the top of the unit from side to side, front to back. Come on over here with me, I wanna show you something. So this is another HD model that's being built as we speak. Now if you take a step back, you'll notice the profile of this, you can see the solar awning on either side. So we have one on the curb side and on the street side. This is the brand new unit. This is only possible because we were able to get that uh, air, both air conditioning units off the roof into the basement and now we have that upgraded dual zone AC system. So here we are at the back corner on the curb side of the HD. This is the pass-through access compartment. You can see this has been raised so the HD does have a real presence to it. This goes from this side all the way to the new back access compartment. I'll close that. Here we have a connection point. This is the new connection point for the lanyard. And that is a mechanical button, which you pull out. It's on a winch system. So this winch cable brings up the patio deck. It's an eight foot patio deck standard to all living vehicles. Of course, this is a self-leveling system with an auto-leveling four-point pad with a 12,000-pound leveling point. And that pad right there is hydraulically actuated, and you do have that in the front storage compartment. Underneath there, you'll see a ton of aluminum. So LV is a completely aluminum and steel-built unit. Now, the steel is minimal, but it is only in areas where you need additional support and that's primarily at the actual axle, axle connection points now what you're seeing there is the back rear bumper that is a removable bumper which can come off that is only if you need extra ground clearance traversing undulating terrain while going off-road and as you take a step back you'll see the three tire combination on the side of the unit now the deck itself is a completely self-supporting deck there is no support underneath here all the cables and hardware are integrated into the deck itself to completely self-support the deck system. Now why don't you take a step here and look at the connection points here. I just want to point out the tremendous quality that we've built into the living vehicle. So this is the cable which supports the winch which pulls the deck up and down and then you do have this cable here. This is the support cable marine grade hardware all throughout stainless steel designed to last a very long time. Now here we are inside production. We built this custom step just so folks can access in and out. But this deck is rated at 1,500 pounds. We do have a railing which will be installed. It is a collapsible railing. It stores up against the surface of the deck. So when you raise it, you don't have to remove the railing. It just stores right there. So that was the exterior. Why don't you uh, come with me and take a look inside and I'll show you all the amazing new features of the interior of the HD. So before we get going, I want to take a note here. Sometimes I make spaces look small because I am about six foot six inches tall right now. There is about five inches above my head right now. This has been raised. So the ceiling height on the HD model has been raised significantly. It's now six foot 10 inches tall. So this feels really nice and tall. Of course, with all of that, the Euro loft, the cabinetry, the space just grew. So you do have a lot more voluminous open space inside here. Of course, we have our standard eight foot patio slider and then the lounge configuration kitchen to the side. Now, I'll start here at the back. One of the primary features of the new HD is this media center. So the media center has been designed with walnut. This is part of the luxury finishes package and you have storage to the left and the right. Of course, a TV has yet to be installed inside that compartment. When it is, that will be a 42-inch television. You can just see the gorgeous 
finish on that black walnut. And that is a satin finish, so it's really nice. Of course, to each side you do have storage compartments, so to the left here and the right you have little places to put gear, everyday carry items, artifacts, beautiful stuff. Of course, all of this is finished trimmed. The media equipment is primarily located underneath here to the left. You do have another storage compartment there to the right for additional storage. Now, one of the things that you'll notice here, just barely peeking down underneath the Euroloft, is this indoor air handler by LG. This is an art cool mirror. I'll show you another one inside the bedroom if you get a better sense for it. But this is the black finish package. It is just gorgeous. This is the first of the dual zone air conditioning system. This does both electric heat and air conditioning. So tremendous, tremendous efficiency. This gives you about a sear rating of 22, not 20, 21 to 22. Um, so this is the lounge, the standard lounge on the LV wraparound lounge. This pulls straight out. You can see here, just push a button. This comes right out. Again, self-supporting so you have really easy conversion from one to the other. The Euroloft, standard Euroloft, queen size. Now, one of the new features for the new model is that on all of our windows, now these have yet to be adjusted and also yet to be fully installed, but you push a button, all the blinds come down and raise automatically on the new HD. This is part of the interior automation package. That's also another feature here yet to be installed is the automated table base, which drops down into the floor with the push of a button. A counter, a tabletop here folds marine style and it comes down, rotates out of the way slightly and does become a coffee table. So that's a new feature to the HD. We do have vents for air circulation. Of course, air is always circulating throughout this unit. So the basement is a conditioned space, great for four season use in all climates, whether it's hot or cold. Now, one of the things you'll notice is this temporary access panel. I can raise this briefly just to show you what will be installed. This is where the energy system will go. So at the final stage of construction, we throw about 72 kilowatt hours of batteries inside there with 18 kilowatt inverter system to power every single electrical system inside the HD. As we move around here, you see these beautiful slit windows, linear windows, great views outside, draws your eye to the rear. That's our picture view window, of course. Let's not forget, as you're backing out there, the eight foot patio slider. That's a natural extension to the outdoors. So one of my big design elements is to make sure that we design with the outdoors in mind. I'm always drawing the eye outside, accessing that single level. So if you're gonna be cooking on the patio or you have equipment out there or you're just lounging your pets, it's a tremendous way to just enjoy the outdoors. Now what you're looking at is the kitchen space. Now this is on the street side of the living vehicle. This has been tr expanded significantly. Now the LVHD is a one foot longer unit than the previous version. Now this model is replacing the prior unit. Now most of the space went into the living and the bedroom. Now what you're seeing here is the fixtures and finishes, the high quality commercial grade sink. We do have an upgraded filter system dispenser that is for the hot and cold water. With the push of a button, you have boiling hot water for morning coffee or tea. You'll notice here the upgraded storage capacity. So we have a ton of storage drawers, cabinets, under sink cabinets, a lot more storage underneath this. And we do have a brand new feature with the HD. This is the electrified chef's kitchen package. And we have a, for the first time ever, three burner induction stove cooktop, completely clean friendly just with a simple wipe. There's nowhere for dirt or grime to hide. Now on the Pro model, this is the, uh, you can only get this option on the Pro model because of the high power demand. Now this is powered off grid. Now the second component to the Electrified Chef's Kitchen is the, the oven. Now again, this is a combination unit. Uh, this is designed for both microwave, convection oven, and standard oven. This is a completely electric unit built by Bosch. And you do have a, storage drawer underneath. Look how deep that is. Now if you'll take a step back I'll show you one other feature which is new to this. We've always had a dishwasher at this location. Take off this travel strap. However this is a new model. 
So you pull this out. This is now a Fisher Paykel. This is a deep drawer dishwasher, extremely efficient. You can do a full six person setting uh, of dishes with just over a gallon of water. So tremendously efficient and saves water compared to doing dishes by hand. Very high quality and very simple to use. As we make our way past the dishwasher to this side of the unit, we do have our full height pantry and storage system. A couple new features here that we have added is a deeper pantry. This is about a foot and a half deep now. And so we have four shelves inside here, three of which are movable. They are locked in place now, but they can be moved depending on your unique considerations. The pantry does lock with a simple push of a button. Underneath the pantry are two silverware storage drawers. Now we do have little slots for dividers in here, so you can integrate a storage system inside there. And that is the same for both drawers. Look how deep these are. This is just a great amount of storage. I mean, so we got some feedback. We want to make sure we have somewhere to put two very narrow drawers. Now, an upgraded feature to this model is a much improved trash and recycling management system with two very good size storage bins. And that is a front and back for trash recycling, trash compost, however you wish. Now taking a step back here, you'll notice that the overhead cabinetry did increase in size. It's the same height, about 18 inches from the countertop, but we do have a lot more space here. So each cabinet does have a movable shelf inside of it. That shelf can be moved up and down depending on your unique needs. Over range hood vent goes right out to the uh, exterior. Now, one of the great features that is standard to every single living vehicle is the refrigeration unit. This is a 13 cubic foot refrigerator, all electric, solar powered. You have a ice maker in the chef's kitchen option. If you get the standard kitchen, you do have a standard without ice maker refrigerator. Now we've raised this fridge up just slightly for ease of access. And you'll see every single piece inside here is just so clean and the capacity on here is just tremendous for a mobile unit. A lot of great clear storage so you can really see where all of your food items are on every shelf. The stainless steel finish matches just seamlessly with everything else. Of course, you'll see all of the trim on all the change of plane locations, whether it's inside, outside, or corner trim, is all brushed aluminum finish. Now you'll see, like I said, that fridge is up just slightly. We do have some ventilation underneath there, and this is a storage solution either for shoes, or you can put pet bowls underneath here for all of your dogs or cats, or tiny children if they're being bad. Just kidding, don't put your kids underneath there. Now, as we walk down the hallway, you got a great sense of the living area. This is a new feature. We have one of the comments that I got was that we need a space for everyday carry items, purses, wallets, keys, notebooks. This floor to ceiling shelving unit is part of the every single living vehicle. And this is a tremendous convenient feature. So as we continue down the hallway, we'll take a look inside the bathroom. Now, a few things are missing here. We don't have yet to install our mirror, um, but we do have our vanity with vessel sink. This is a gray half inch tempered glass, matte finish, black fixtures all throughout. Now, underneath this vanity, we have quite a bit of additional storage. So based on some customer needs, we do have some drawers now. So we have four drawers, all of different depths, a very deep one at the bottom for things like blow dryers or cosmetics. And we have all the way up. Now to the left, we have the yet to be installed, but there is a, uh, a kind of full height vanity cabinet here. And then to the left here is our standard. Uh, this is the off grid style toilet. And now this gives you a lot of capacity when you're traveling off grid. And so when you install the off grid bath system, you still do have two tanks, but it basically doubles your gray water storage capacity. Now the medicine cabinet inside the bathroom has grown in size. So we do have three shelving pieces of shelving inside there. There's a space above here with a direct vent fan to bring air outside because we eliminated the ceiling vent here because of the dual solar awning directly above. 
So when the both solar awnings are extended, you have use of the skylights, and so you have a lot of great light coming into the shower. Okay, so one of the primary features of the LV, now I'm not going to show you because this is the standard, nothing's changed since the prior model. We do have our floor to ceiling uh, shower with the shower panel, black wand. Uh, we do have the skylight above, underneath the solar awning right now, so that is closed, so we don't have any light coming in from the skylight, shower seat, um, and then all the other great features you've come to love about the, uh, the living vehicle shower. Now, one of the upgrades that I found is that I wanted to increase space capacity here. Uh, so this is now a heating unit. This is an electric heat unit, which is a double duty. This replaced the towel bar because that stood out about six inches, taking up some space. So now what this does, this not only warms the bedroom very efficiently, sorry, not the bedroom, the bathroom. This also reduces humidity. This warms your hanging towels. So you do have a hook system directly above this heating unit, which dries out your towels, warms up your bathroom, and it reduces humidity. So very efficient and very well placed. So I love this thing. This is a great new feature. So now that we're done with the bathroom, I will show you a very messy, seemingly rat's nest of wires. You can see all the tremendous wires that we put into this unit. It's, this is all the low voltage, by the way, the electrical panel and the monitoring panel, primary breakers and all of your other breakers running down here. This will be completed with marine grade commercial quality and marine quality systems when we are completed there. Now, of course, you can see that on our completed units. Now, one thing to note is that on all of these systems, we do have great wiring, great boat style cable with tinned wiring. What you see here is a completely redesigned bedroom with a king bed. So we do have the luxury finishes package installed, beautiful walnut headboard, king size platform. You can see all of this is pure storage. Of course, we'll have a lift up bed system here and then you can access and store a lot of equipment in here. Now at the foot of the bed, you have a new six drawer dresser, which allows for maximum storage capacity. Now each one of those can hold all sorts of clothes, storage items, and as you need it. So we increase the storage capacity significantly on the HD model. You'll see there at the left, you have a in-floor heat element. This is a redundant heating system. So this heating element is electrically controlled, part of the Four Seasons package. This is in addition to the new LG mini split with dual zone capacity. This is the second, this is the smaller of the two inverter units, indoor air handler with a remote control. This is electrically powered and this is tremendously efficient. So two zones, two different systems, for a mobile space. It is simply unprecedented. Now the storage system in the closet, we have yet to put on two very nice, massive storage doors. They are bypass doors. They are walnut finished, and they will go directly over the front of this, covering up all of this infrastructure, but I'll point out what will ride reside behind them. So we do have our six foot closet. So from one to the other side, this is a six foot closet. To the far left, starting here, we have our off-grid washer and dryer. That's right, it washes, then dries your clothes all together in one cycle. Directly above this, you have a new feature with this walnut finish is three different shelves. So that allows tremendous storage capacity for clothes, also your washer and dryer systems. Now, one of the things that you have yet to see, it's not installed completely, there it is. That is another drawer. We have drawers everywhere inside this unit. Typically, I would put laundry items or better yet, put your central back hose if you got that as part of the package. One of the things you'll notice right to the entry door side of that drawer is the central back port. That is where a central location for your central back hose management system. Of course, we located that drawer right next to the port, which gives you full and ready access to all those parts and supplies. So extremely convenient. Now, as you take a step back, when we are looking right back into this hallway, one of the things that I said I would point out earlier, which I am ready to do, here is the indoor, of this, indoor side of this linear slit window. So this window is designed with a vent and it is very long and tall because if you get a doorbell, hello, you can see who's outside without having to open your door. So this is a security minded feature. Also vented gives you more light into the hallway and functionality as well. As we make our way towards the street side of this closet, you have a four foot full height storage. You have a lot of equipment in here for the optional packages that have been installed. I'll point all those out now. 
This system, it is the Onboard Pro. It is the clear source three-stage water filtration system. It goes down to a NASA approved standard. This actually removes bacteria and viruses in your water treatment. So this is part of the air and water quality package. Now, just below that is your tankless water heater. What's so great about this, it is gas fired and it does allow heating down to 0.4 gallons per minute. That is extremely efficient. Now, another great thing about this is it is a circulating system. So water comes in and out constantly. So you can leave that on and in the water in the hoses will actually be on and hot. So the second you turn on a fixture, you will get heat at a moment's notice. We have a hanging towel rod, or this is a clothes rod, a shelf above, part of the security package is installed. This is a locking keypad safe. Work our way around. We do have a light inside, of course. I love the finish on this LG indoor air handler. Now, one of the great features about the orientation of this bedroom, because the bed is now in line with the orientation of the unit, we have windows on both sides of the bedroom. So now this allows us to have cross ventilation. So you open up a window on one side and on the other side, you get great airflow throughout the bedroom with the door closed. Now, right above the center of the bed, again, this is a king sized bed with a 10 inch thick memory foam mattress. You have the skylight package directly above. Now behind me, letting all that great light in, when you're outside, of course, this is inside, so we don't see any light right now. We have a new feature to the HD model, and this is the overhead storage compartment. So we have two storage compartments to either side with a shelf inside each, each hatch. Now there is a central open compartment here. This is where the equipment for the home theater system would live. Now we have designed this so it is straight on. So it's a straight throw, and it goes straight to the pull-down screen, which would be right behind you. Now to each side of the king bed, you have about, hmm, I'm gonna say a little bit more than a foot of space to either side of the bed and a beautiful walnut nightstand to each side of the bed. And that is a complete walnut build, walnut craft, really great quality. Of course, simple features like an outlet with integrated USB and a light with a flexible black gooseneck. So that exists on both sides. A reading light gives you lots of great light quality inside here. And I just love this headboard. So part of the luxury finishes package, I highly recommend just because of the quality and just, you look at this, it's just built so nicely. Of course, we do have other features inside here as part of the home theater system. This is barely, wouldn't even see it, but there's a speaker. This is just flush integrated directly into the ceiling as part of the hi-fi audio in the living area and the home theater in the bedroom. Of course, all of these lights are dimmable, so we believe in light quality. That's a 3500K on the Kelvin scale. So you can dim those. Yep, Joanna's gonna bring those down right now. So when you're going to bed and you don't want all that bright light in your face, you can just turn it down, turn it right back up. It's that easy. You know, I'm looking around. I could talk for hours on this thing, but I think I've reached a point where I, I wanna wrap up. I wanna embrace how amazing this unit is. And uh, in closing, I hope you enjoyed your time here today. And I'm really looking forward to uh, continuing to share all the many features and uh, exciting new kind of attributes that make the, H uh, the living vehicle HD the most capable living vehicle ever. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want to know more, please visit us at www.livingvehicle.com. Reach out to us by email, social. You know how to get in touch with us. We'll say hello back. Hope you're having a great day. See you soon.